We're seeing a lot of the, the numbers going up uh, uh, on our subway. We compare year over year uh, the amount of felony assaults uh, that we're seeing on subway, the amount of crimes that are being committed. And I think that you know part of it is about increasing the ranks of the NYPD, both uh, uniformed and plain clothed. Uh, we also have to enforce. You have to enforce fair jumping. You have to enforce these other crimes because there are crimes being committed where people are just being caught and released. You hear Mayor Adams, you know, maybe not when we're two weeks out from the election, but you've heard him talk about it previously, where people are getting arrested, but then they're right back uh, out on the street as well. Uh, there are emotionally disturbed persons uh, in this city. They they should not be on the streets. They should be getting help. It's in their best interest. It's for everyone's best interest. I think that when you see real action, I'm not just talking about for a couple of weeks, talking about taking 50 people off the street. I'm talking about something bigger. And these people need that help. I think that's going to have an impact uh, as well. So it's a combination of, of this and, and much more. Ultimately, when you, know, you don't wake up every single day reading about people you know, getting thrown in front of uh, a subway car, which has happened a lot, just this in the last like, week Chambers or two. Street. Right? That's something that impacts one teens and behaviors. This <laughs> We just have to be honest and you know, realistic about this conversation. That